From an agricultural standpoint, um, there has been some damage in areas where uh, the fire has burned up, up against ag areas. We're aware of one, at least one vineyard that has had some damage. And uh, there are probably some pear, grow, uh, pear orchards over in the Scotts Valley area that is, have sustained some damage, but uh, too early to tell. The, uh, there are still active uh, uh, suppression operations going on in those areas, so we have not been able to get in to have a look. We're very close to Verasion, and the uh, longer the smoke sits on the, uh, on the grapes themselves, the greater chance or probability of damage. We were just kind of coming down on off of the peak of our Sacramento River run here and all of a sudden our crew had to leave in a panic because uh, they all had to find places to stay and uh, it's pretty worrisome when they when you know that there's a fire raging near. Fortunately we've got our feet under us again. It was truly a white knuckle time because nobody knew how long this was going to last or where the fire was going to end up. And I must say, CAL FIRE saved all of our communities and uh, it's been amazing what they've been able to accomplish.